Okay, true to form, um, the student outcomes button is up there now. If you scroll down, like this is my 111 site, and we're only doing this for 111, so you don't need to look for this for your 112s or 211s or 212s um, if you were teaching any of those classes. Um, you'll find your SLO. We already went over what to do with SLOs. Here is your exit outcome. Um, so you can click on that and you will, for each of your students, you have a choice. You'll either write proficient, not proficient, did not complete assignment, dropped class, or not attending, okay? And this will all be based upon um, that quiz that we took. You'll have to look at your student scores and I'll pull that up in a minute. So if your student had a passing grade for the test, um, on that quiz, you're going to say proficient. If they did not, you're going to put no proficient. Um, and then you'll have to decide if it's a student who's been attending your class, but they didn't complete the assignment, you'll click did not complete assignment. If it's a student who dropped your class from out here, then you'll put dropped your class. And if it's a student who has not dropped your class, but has not been coming to class, then you'll put as the option not attending. Okay. And you'll do that for each student and how you'll decide what their score is is you'll scroll down to that quiz that we all made. Um, mine, mine just took mine. It's this multiple choice quiz. And when you click on it, you can look at your attempts, which doesn't look so good. I only have 10, but I have a couple who are supposed to be completing it. Um, and I can scroll down here and see my students' grades. 77, 97, 187. So all of these people, all the people who took it, I am going to give proficient to. And then it will just be, a, then I will just need to go through with all the people who didn't take it and mark it as not attending, didn't take it, dropped the class, etc. So hopefully that explains to you guys what you're supposed to do with your student outcomes.